Hey, 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 welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Joya and this is Cash Money Budgets. I am a cash budgeter using the cash envelope stuffing system. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you all my process of paying off $2,372.86 in three months. First of all, I'm back. <laughs> Um, I had to step away for some personal reasons, nothing financial. I've been sticking to my weekly budget, but just for some personal reasons that I don't really want to get into, I had to just step away. I was actually planning on getting back active on my channel in October. However, with this $2,000 plus dollar payment that I have to repay, um, I wanted to go ahead and just come on here and show you all the process. So let's get into it. The $2,372.86 balance that I am paying back is from unexpected car repairs. Uh, gotta love it, right? <laughs> uh, just a brief background, I guess. Um, I had a, my, just my regular car maintenance um, appointment back in June, did my multi-point inspection, everything came back in the green except for two things. Um, in August, my check engine light came on. Two weeks later, I had my appointment and now there's something wrong with my engine. Disclaimer, I work from home, so I don't drive my car often. And it was maybe a few hundred mile difference between this August appointment with the check engine light versus the appointment back in June for my oil change. So it's a, a bit frustrating, but you know, here we are. So I told them that I would not be able to pay that. So they um, offered me their payment plan, um, which is like a financing through a third party. I was under, under the impression that it would be through a credit card. So that's why I told them that I would go ahead and do it that way. Fast forward to my appointment that I scheduled for two weeks after, um, they let me know that it's it would be a soft, credit check and the way that the payment plan works is it'll come out of my checking account it would not be a credit card situation so this payment plan offers uh, a three month six month nine month 12 month and 15 month payment plan to pay off the balance I was thinking about putting it on my credit card but the reason I did not put it on my credit card is because I prefer not to have a balance so I like paying my card off every month in full before the statement closing date because this was so unexpected I knew that if I put it on my credit card I would not be able to pay it off in the time needed so that's why I opted to do this payment plan through this third party um, financing. While I'm checking into my appointment, I noticed that the only 0% APR option that they had was for the three months. Surprise, surprise, right? So that's what I'm doing. Paying this off within three months so that I don't have to pay any interest. Another disclaimer, my car is paid off. I paid it off two years early and I live at home with my mom and I don't have a lot of bills <laughs> so that's why I opted to do the no interest for three months because although it's more than I would like <laughs> I have it in my budget to pay it off within three months and this is according to my budget that's another disclaimer like do what's best for you um the lady who was helping me she did automatically actually she offered me the 15 month payment plan and i'm pretty sure she did it because it was the least amount but i would be paying an additional an extra 230 dollars in interest alone and i'm not in debt 
so I, I plan to stay out of it <laughs> so let's go ahead and kind of get into the actual breakdown so I will let you guys know that the total amount actually um, for the repair total repair costs was $2,678.17. Now with this payment plan, I had to make a down payment at the time of checkout. So my down payment at the time of checkout was $305.31. So 267817 minus 305 31 and that's how we have um, got the $2,372.86 balance that I have to pay over the next three months. They broke it down for me that my monthly payments is going to be $790.95. But I break up my bills, my expenses, my seeking funds, um, all of that, I break it up into four. So I budget by the week. So I break my month, my monthly budget up into four weeks. So I'm going to do $790.95 divided by four, 197.74 feet rounded up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna round this total up to equal $198. So, my weekly budget is going to be $100.98 to pay this off in three months. Um, the reason I split my monthly budget into a weekly budget it is because I get paid semi-monthly I get paid on the 7th and the 22nd of each month so my paychecks differ I average um, about 11 days per paycheck so most paychecks are 11 days but then I often have um, a 10 day paycheck or a 12 day paycheck um, I tried budgeting bi-weekly, but it didn't really work out for me because of how I get paid. So that's why I budget weekly and I found that once I started budgeting weekly, I had a little extra money um, to allocate towards my sinking fund or my cash wallet during the week versus when I was budgeting bi-weekly. So that's a tip um, if you can or if you feel like you need to have, uh, if you feel like you don't have um, a lot of wiggle room in your budget, maybe try breaking it down to budget twice a week or breaking it down to budget weekly. I do plan on my next paycheck. I do plan on doing a budget breakdown with you all to show what that'll look like with my bills, my sinking funds, my expenses and all that and how that's going to um, kind of, I'm going to have to decrease what I'm putting towards um, some funds until this is paid off. I will say also, I do plan on getting a little bit of a pay increase um, with this next check. It's like our annual um, annual pay increase. And then I will no longer be paying my laser treatments. So my laser treatments are done. I've been paying $149 monthly. 
So that's another reason why I want to go ahead and do that weekly budget with you guys with my next paycheck because I'll have a little bit more wiggle room with that paycheck so I may actually may not have to change anything I'm, I just realized I may not have to change anything with what I'm um, allocating towards my sinking funds I want to go ahead because I actually have my first 198 payment ready to go I didn't realize that until I went through my envelopes here. So I have a car maintenance sinking fund envelope in my sinking fund binder. You guys, I went ahead and I went back to my um, zippered envelopes and I, oh, where is it? Oh. I went back to my zipper envelopes and I made my own labels. So I currently only have $45 in cart maintenance. So 2045. I am going to be adding that and I'm, so and I'm going to be putting that $198 into this envelope since it's for cars. So from this 198 I'm going to be taking that $45 from that so 198 minus 45 equals 153 then I have a new binder and this is for my savings challenges and if you all remember for those of you who are returning <laughs> subscribers this challenge I was using for my car deductible to go towards my $500 car deductible I already saved up hundred dollars prior to doing this particular challenge and this $100 placeholder reflects the $100 that I have in my high yield savings account I'm sorry y'all <laughs> yeah this $100 placeholder reflects the $100 that I saved up and put in my high yield savings account so for this challenge I was budgeting $10 a week to put in here so it was a part of my budget and that's how I decided to go ahead and do this savings challenge because I this is my first one and I didn't want to put any guesswork into it I didn't want to it to be overwhelming or anything so I was like I'm just gonna allocate ten dollars out of my budget and put it into this challenge so i did go ahead and finish it and this one um it's from the almost organized owl each uh, letter represents ten dollars so i would save eighty dollars but i went ahead and put an additional ten dollars in for this punctuation so i have a total of ninety dollars in here that i have recently saved up for so 50 70 90 that's going to go towards let me put this back over here this so 153 minus 90 is 63 so minus So I'm going to put this over to the side actually because I have another envelope in this savings challenge binder. It actually came as a freebie with a purchase from uh, Baddies in a Bag that I started and this money actually was coming from the rollover that I 
had budgeted for, I have budgeted for my gas and I haven't finished it yet. So this is the challenge. And I have a total of 20, 40, 50, 55, $60 that I saved for that. So I'm gonna take that out. That's gonna go towards this. Bringing it down to three dollars. Add a challenge, and then I made my own little dollar savings challenge <laughs> on Canva. It's nothing. It's very basic. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take three dollars out of here. One, two, three. And I'll change my tracker off camera. And I'm gonna add that to this. So minus three. And this is the dollar savings challenge. So back to my car maintenance envelope I am going to add all of this together and this should total $198 so we have 50 70 90 110 130 150, 170, 180, 185, 190, 195, 196, 197, and 198. So this takes care of the first weekly $198 towards the $790.95 that I rounded up to $791. Towards the total $2,372.86 cents that I am going to be paying off in December. So I wanted to come on here and just be very transparent with you all um, and show you all how I plan to pay this off over the next three months. If you are new here and you want to follow along with me on this journey to paying off this balance over the course of three months please feel free to hit that subscribe button and follow along with me um, I am very happy to be getting back into the groove of doing these videos for you all I'm very happy to be back and I'm also happy to be back and watching your videos supporting your channel Thank you guys so much thank you to my new subscribers that i never got a chance to, 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 to thank you all from my last video because i kind of just went ghost for a little bit so i thank you all if you are still here <laughs> for being here um so yeah this is going to be it for today's video my next video like i said is going to be a budget with me to show a complete break breakdown for how I do my weekly budget. Um, I've done a couple of videos in the past. Um, I do plan on just doing that one weekly budget video and then I will just do a monthly budget video from here on out. So until next time you all, peace. Mm -hmm.